Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mama's Issues and Fixes. Hey guys, today's topic is about Upwork or continuing with Upwork um, as explaining a little bit of how to manage this platform specifically now how to check on your profile how to um, understand a little bit of what the client is suggesting to see when they are trying to see if you can apply for a project okay and to check if you actually have everything that they need right so let's just start so I already got into Upwork with my user so what I'm going to do right now is try to check a little bit about how the profile is so this is a basic profile so I haven't done my specialized profiles I can promise you that when I finish this I'm going to show you I am relatively new in Upwork as well let's say that I have already two years maybe one when I just applied I mean registered and I didn't got any proposals to do or any jobs to do so I just left it and then I came back so you will check that I actually have two jobs that I have already applied to and got into it so let's just check this out so first of all this little check here will let you know or will let the clients know that you are a verified um, profile in this case you can read there which is that this freelancer identity has been verified through a government ID tech and a video call with Upwork so what they were asking me to do was to deliver my copy of the government ID or let's say a scanned one and they did a video call but they could see me they were asking me a couple of questions regarding to Upwork and regarding my profile and with that being said that was the only thing that I needed to verify my account and to have it as a verified freelancer so let's just check a little bit about the profile as I mentioned I think the other the other video that the skill tests are not longer available on Upwork so all of the tests and skills that I had in my profile are gone and there were quite a few so let's just continue so I can see how my profile is seen by others, so I can open this. So in this option, you can check on how the client can check on your profile, which will be the final one before they can hire you or not. So let's just start a little bit by checking out how this is so you can check that I have this like a small summarize of what I am doing here in Upwork which is an expert IT engineer in Oracle and English translation and transcripts I have my little description of what I'm doing here this is the hourly rate that I have here, how much I have earned, and two jobs that I have applied to and that I have worked in. Then you can check here my work history and feedback, which implies that I have two jobs, or I have two jobs, one of them already finished, which I do have a good verification by the client, a good review, 
and a comment, which is a fantastic effort, accurate, fast, and a delight to work with. Thank you. And the other one that I have been working in. So I have here my portfolio, and I have here the skills that I have. I have my employment history, my education, and other experiences. So what I recommend here is to try to write as much as you can and try to put there as much as the client wants for their projects and that you can verify. So let us check about these two jobs that I have here. So after you propose or after you submit a proposal, you can wait until you get chosen, you can keep on submitting proposals, but if you manage to get into a project, then that project will start to be a contract. So that's how that uh, that's how this works. You can go to my jobs and then you can check on all the contracts that you have. In this case, because of um, being confidential and I really don't want to um, show the name of the clients, I'm going to show you certain images that I took from my contracts web page so you can check how the information is presented. So let us check when you get into my contracts. You can see that I have the two contracts here. The first one, which was a $50 budget that's already completed. I started on May 9 and finished on May 16. The second one, and it started on May 28th, and I'm still working on it. If you click the first project that I had, you can see this web page, which shows you every single option that Upwork gives in order to follow up this contract. In this case, I can have here a budget, if there is something in scroll, a milestones that have been paid. Right now, because it's closed, everything has been paid and I didn't have any disputes with this client. I do have information regarding to the milestones and earnings here. I have messages and files that I have been going and like working with the client and the terms and settings. You can have this information here and if there is any problem, Upwork will actually help you out if the client doesn't want to pay you or if there is any kind of problem regarding to it. But if, you're, if you are involved in a contract that is in dispute, I will recommend you to get to the support from Upwork and have everything understand and followed. So let us check the second project that I'm in. This is how it looks like. So at the moment, we have a budget here of 1,430 and it's still growing. For now, I have completed 15 milestones. And remember that this value here, or this earnings here, it's not exactly that amount. You have to take off 20% that Upwork, it, Upwork it's taken from my earnings to be able to work here. So this is about it. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you have any comments, please just let me know. If you have any other suggestion, I know that um, I'm a little bit new on this. I want to deliver a really good quality content. So I'm really open to suggestions, to comments. If you think that I need to improve in, in something, then I'll definitely try to work on that. Um, just let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And give me the thumbs up if you think this was a useful video. And 
click on the notification bell so you can have every single video when I uploaded it in my channel. So I hope you have a great week and I'll speak to you guys soon.